Welcome back to Afternoon Express, South Africa. I can tell you, your minds are about to be blown. We have got something completely different for you now on the show. They are two very unconventional, experimental music composers who actually use motorcycles as instruments. With us in the loft, we have Juliana Fenta and Galina Juritz, who form part of the Experimental Motorcycle Orchestra, who will be performing at the Edge of Wrong Music Festival in Cape Town. So ladies, already by the description of what it is that you guys do, this is going to be interesting. Why motorcycles? Well, I mean, it's noise music. So we thought incorporating motorbikes is um, bringing quite different audiences together because, mm. I mean, bikers are normally quite sort of separated and in their own world. And so is noise musicians and avant-garde musicians and people who do experimental stuff. So the whole thing is to try and bring people together in a kind of unusual situation yeah. and perhaps to find each other. This excites yeah. me quite a lot because as a kid I used to play the violin and mom said that this isn't music, this is noise. So now that you know there's a genre for me, it makes me excited. Well, do you want a job? <laughs> <laughs> what is noise music, guys? Well, I mean, noise music is characterized as noise within a musical genre or a musical style. It actually is a style of music. You can go and look at Wikipedia if you don't believe me. <laughs> and um, actually it already started in the 1910s in Europe. Um, there was the anti-symphony that was performed in Berlin in 1900. Mm. And people like Zinakis has used it, Psychic TV. Uh, if, you look at, if you listen to Jimi Hendrix, that comes from noise music. Jimi Hendrix Jimi noise? Hendrix, yes, of course. Yoko Ono, you know, you all know Yoko sure. Ono. That's all coming from noise music, the Fluxus art movement, the Surrealists, the Dadaists, the Futurists. Mm. It's been around for a long time. So what exactly categorizes the noise from the music? Well, okay, I mean, it's like feedback. If you hold a microphone pointed towards that, it makes feedback. People would use that, you know, anything, uh, electroacoustic sounds, mm. machine sounds. I'm sure it's in a Neubauten from Germany. They used, you know, metals and grinders and, sure. and you know, there's lots of stuff that you can use in terms of noise and a motorbike is perfect. One of them. Yeah. Okay, so you guys got the show coming up in Cape Town that everyone's very excited about. Uh, you've kind of brought down to a little minimalist set so we can fit it into the loft today. What can we expect from that performance? Well, that performance, we're going to have a string quartet, the shot ensemble. Um, there's going to be Makoyane and Umkhube Southern African bows. Um, there is going to be a drummer. There's going to be a fleet of motorcyclists. Um, Juliana compositions by Matthias van Dijk, Juliana, myself, Cara Stacey, uh, mm. a whole bunch of us. So please come along. Definitely, guys. This sounds incredible. I managed to hear all of the sound checks you guys were doing. It is the most interesting sound I have ever heard in my <laughs> life. So we can speak about it as much as we want. But what we are going to do now, South Africa, is let them take the floor and just show you what noise music is all about. Ladies, the floor is yours. Great, thank you.
hear about the composition behind all of this, it really is mind-blowing. And if you want to catch them with their full motorcycle orchestra, then make sure you head down to Detroit Vintage Garage in Salt River, Cape Town on the 20th of October. The show is called VOMO, and if you want more information, then be sure to head to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za.